What is going on lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another player review and this week we do have a very interesting one, we are going to be going over to eFootballDB.com in a minute just to see what these players max out at, but yeah this is probably one of the best player selection packs that they've released, especially if you're a newcomer, if you're coming into the game and you've got a couple of hundred coins whether they're free or whether you've earned them through the event uh, or whether you want to spend a bit, like there are some amazing players here that you can get for quite cheap. Um, well, not quite cheap, but I'm saying you're going to get a guaranteed one of these players when you spin. There's no duplicates, obviously. And to get three of these guys in your squad are going to be absolutely insane if you are a newcomer. You know, you're going to have three real, like, kind of end game pieces to put into your starting 11. So we've got Benzema, Vinicius Jr., Militao, Camavinga, Courtois, Alaba, Tushimene, and Mendy. So any of these that you pack are going to be very decent players, lads, definitely for the Real Madrid uh, pack. And obviously, you've got Vinny Jr. Kamavinga, Alaba, Tushimene and Mendy all on good form A to B, which is very, very important as well. If you don't know why, check out my video on playstyle and how important it is for players, you know, to be recycling the players that you have in every week that are on A or B form. It makes a huge difference, especially if they've got unwavering form. So yeah, we're not going to focus too much on Courtois or Benzema because again, there's a lot of center forwards that you could buy that have stats similar to Benzema. Um, yeah, he does have unwavering form. Yes, he has good finishing that you can boost up into the 90s but his speed is lacking a little bit his dribbling is lacking a little bit for for you know other alternatives on the market that you could think of such as Haaland um even Lewandowski there's a lot of, of of them I would even say um you know a lot of the smaller uh center forwards are probably better you know and even if you don't go at that route if you want kind of like a target man I don't think Benzema is the best around that is there, especially if you're looking to get his normal version of the card because it is quite expensive. Now, if you do pack him or you do pack Courtois, they are both really good players. Depending on the strength and the standard of your squad, you are going to obviously have an upgrade in Benzema or Courtois. I just genuinely feel like they're not... Um, you know, they're not at the upper tier of players that are there at the moment. I mean, they're not kind of the meta type players that you're going to be striking fear into an opponent's heart when they see you with Courtois and Golds or Benzema up front. Now, saying that, there will be people, and I know you guys probably watching this, some of you will be like, oh, Benzema has scored a goal a game for me. Yeah, I mean, any player can score a goal a game if you're a beast of a player, and uh, that is true. But I definitely think that Benzema and Courtois are just kind of average at this level, um, uh, of with the game being out in terms of the cards that are already on the marketplace uh, they are probably average enough now these six players are the ones i'm going to take a, a closer inspection of uh over on eFootballDB. so we're actually going to go over here now to eFootballDB.com. link in the description below there is a brand new redesign coming to this a lot of the feedback has been listened to and it's it's looking very very slick i got a look at the what the lads were working on and it is very very nice so it's going to be a lot cleaner a lot easier to use on mobile and the ios version is coming soon as well so appreciate you guys checking it out and giving any feedback below but anyway on to the matters at hand so we do have Vinicius Jr's card maxed out here he's got one of the best this card is definitely one of the best that they released he's got a 97 overall rating which goes to 100 overall when you have a 100 play style uh on your play you know when you've got a 100 team play style proficiency with your squad Vinicius Jr. this card will go to 100 overall which is absolutely incredible 94 speed 96 acceleration 94 ball control 94 dribbling 84 balance and his form is unwavering which means he's going to be more often up than not and when you turn it there you see that he does have an A uh, player update this week as well so he is going to be an absolute beast now I actually got Vinicius Jr. I think it was in a free uh, spin a couple of weeks back and he is very very decent but i've been waiting to see if his form has gone up to test him out fully so i'm definitely going to check him out now a lot of the thing is right if especially if you're a newcomer to the game uh you've got two options you can either stay free to play and not spend a penny and these players do cost money if you want to spin from um or else you can go like the standard route and just buy the players for gp now a lot of the good players like the high profile players are going to cost a lot of gp there's a lot of grinding if you wanted to get say the likes of vinicius jr here this is his regular card so you've still got your 92 and 95 here your 90 and 94 and then your 83 balance and your 85 offensive awareness like the card isn't amazingly different there is just a little bit of an uptake on it and i think that's kind of the best way to balance these cards is that if you do want to train a player up like Vin vinicius jr here for three hundred ninety thousand gp somebody that's going to buy the card um 
is going to skip a lot of that because they're going to have a better version when he's finally maxed out proper. So I think Vinicius Jr., if you do pack him, he's a huge acquisition. Next up, we've got Alaba, and we look at Alaba's card here. Now, if you look and you hover over this, Alaba's standard card is 200,000 GP. He is a bargain in the game, and his stats go up very, pretty much identical to this version of the card. You can get his standard card up to this, but you're going to have Alaba here, 80 acceleration, 76 ball control, 79 low pass, and then 90 95 defensive awareness with 90 aggression insane right this guy is probably top five players in the game if you do pack him you just put him into your squad genuinely put him into your squad he's always on good form as well he's on b this week his partner in center back is a militao even though you can play alaba left back or cmf um you can get a lot of get a lot of good good stuff out of alaba Militao is obviously very similar as well he's more mobile and we've kind of trained him up here to 93 overall we've kind of focused on his physical contact and on his jump and his you know his in-air ability uh if we are going to have Alaba beside him if you've got like one strong defender if you've got your Van Dykes your Koulibaly's if you've got somebody like that having somebody that's a bit more mobile and a bit faster such as Militao or Alaba is a must especially with the 2.1 gameplay at the moment he levels up quite decently as well Tushimene here the French man, absolute monster. He has really slotted into that Real Madrid team. He is actually on B form this week as well, which is very decent. 72 acceleration, 77 speed, 80 ball control, very good passing, very good strength, very good defense. And of course, he has that unwavering form as well. Now, his standard version goes up to level 38, which you can get quite high. Um, it is going to be a very similar card to this, a very similar card with another 10 levels there. So if you've got 100,000 GP and you don't spend Tushimene, I definitely think you should try and get him and test him out. This is his standard version here, maxed out. It goes to 89 overall. Very similar stats, pretty much identical across the board. Camavinga second last, but definitely not least. We have got Camavinga maxed out at a 91, 28 levels, 81 acceleration, 81 kick and power, 87 low pass. You can train him up in a multitude of ways, lads. There's a lot of variety in these cars because they've got 28 levels to go. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing about this uh, club pack is that when you are using a player like Camavinga, he's on A form this week, right? You are going to be able to train him up exactly how you want him. Whether you want to use him as an attacking uh, centre midfielder or a defensive centre midfielder who's going to defend and get back and be like kind of uh, Patrick Vieira style. Um or like Gravenberch kind of style uh, that's on the Bayern Munich pack. You can use him in both ways and he will be a beast. And last but not least, we do have Mendy, who I think is a bit of a meta left back, lads, with this, clear, with this player card, right? 92 speed, 90 acceleration. Ball control is lovely. Low pass, loft to pass, not great, but it's okay for what you're going to be using him for. And then we have the defensive awareness, defensive engagement, tackling and aggression, all fairly high. Now, if we did want to mess around and kind of take away a bit of speed, we could do that as well, right? We could take away a bit of speed so that we're at maybe 90 and 88 acceleration. That's, that's enough, realistically and we have a couple of more points here that we can plow in so we could actually decide to upgrade his dribbling and we can pump one and more into his defending to get it up to 85 there's a lot of different ways that you can boost him up because he goes to level 30 so that is it for the real madrid club pack lads let me know what you guys think if you are going to spin or skip let me know who you do get or let me know if you are going to skip it out and let me know your teams at the moment i will be starting my subscriber showdown series today i think tonight the first episode is going up at 4 p.m uk time so there will be details on how to enter that and uh yeah i will talk to you in a bit lads hope you're enjoying the videos peace